What's good, gang? It's your boy Two Time Moto TV, and we back with another video, guys. This is a video that you guys asked for down low in the comments, man. Um, yeah, hey, never mind me. The cold out here and the COVID got us all looking like criminals, but <laughs> um, yeah, man. So I'm gonna answer a lot of you guys' questions about uh, the PA system, how it's hooked up. I'm gonna actually slide my radio out, and uh, I'm gonna take the fascia off um on my dash where my button is connected to because a lot of you guys said that y'all are having issues uh with static in your speakers i've had that issue before but then i had to reroute my wires uh mind you that i did put the other video out a while ago i probably didn't explain it and break it down for you guys as i should have and you know so basically what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna slide everything out i'm gonna reroute my wires or trace my wires and show you guys where they're leading up to, where they go. I'm also draw a diagram and show you guys the diagram step by step what you need to do for installation. So without further ado, man, we're gonna get a better cold start. here there you probably would have never crunk up so yeah man thankful for the garage but we're gonna go ahead and pull the bed out as you guys see i haven't taken anything apart yet so i'm gonna go ahead and pull the bed outside slide everything out and give you guys a glimpse of where my wires are ran and what you need to do just uh for you guys that are new that's my on and off switch for the pa speaker right there so that's a given so, what is a PA speaker, you may ask? Well, if that little clip didn't sum it up for you, uh, I guess I'll go a little further in depth. Uh, basically, it is a stadium intercom speaker or a outdoor speaker that you find on like buildings, uh, public service announcement like intercoms for staff and uh, employees and uh, whatnot. So, uh, you guys wanted to know how to route something like that. So I will start from the inside and then work my way back and forth to show you guys and retrace the wires of how I got it all ran. And I will be pulling the deck out and I will be pulling off of this fascia here. So first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to find a location for your on and off switch. Now, you can find this on and off switch in the description below in my videos. Or you can go to AutoZone and purchase one yourself. It really doesn't matter. Um, so you're gonna wanna first take this fascia off and it is held on by clips that is in the back of the fascia. So you wanna start by reaching over here. Now, if I can one hand this guys, then you guys shouldn't have no issues with breaking anything. So we're gonna start. You're just gonna wanna pop the end off here. You're just gonna wanna keep going along. And as you see, she's popping up. You do not want to snatch the whole thing out at one time because you will start breaking clips on the back and that is no good so you just want to just keep going along here and uh well eventually there you go you seen how the whole thing just came off so boom now you're just gonna want to get whatever it is out the way and voila you have access to the rear or your whole fascia that you can start a hole a little pallet hole here you want to just drill a hole and then you can seat this in the back there is like a little kind of a twist thing in the back that you can lock it in tight now i've seen guys put it over here and wherever you want to put it man uh, it really doesn't matter you can put it down here but this is just where i have mine at because you guys asked so i must tell so i have two wires that are hooked up in the back there is three different locations where you can hook wires at one is for the light and i don't have that hooked up because i don't need it um 
So one would be for your positive and for your negative. Now I will retrace these wires. So guys, give me a second. This is one thing that I cannot one hand as far as taking this double den out. So I will set the camera down. I will slide the double den out and we will retrace the wires going underneath and into the back of the radio. All right, so as you guys can see, man, I basically have everything taken out and whatnot, but I'm not gonna put y'all through a mesh of wires and stuff just hanging out and whatever. Look, man, I don't pull down everything to trace the wires for you guys and uh, I'm limited on daylight right now at the moment. Now, so what I will do, I will go upstairs and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna draw you guys a diagram and I'm gonna explain this diagram on how to hook this PA speaker up and I believe that I know the issue that a lot of you guys are having saying that there's static in your speakers. Um, I had that issue at one point in time and I think I blew an intercom uh, for running it like that for a little bit too long. Basically when you turn it up, the static will get louder and whatnot. And I'll let you know the issue with that. And trust me, I know you guys are gonna be like, there's no way. But guys, that's the only issue that can come about for you having static in your intercom or even in the cabin of your vehicle when you flip that switch on. That is the only way you will have static. Good evening, gang. Professor Two Time is here. And uh, we will be sketching a diagram of how to properly hook up your intercom to your switch from your switch to your CD player. Okay, so as you guys know, this here is the PA intercom system in front of the car. That is the switch that's inside the car and that is your CD player. So whether you have a factory CD player, a double den, or a regular CD player, it doesn't matter. Alright, so we're going to start with the PA system. So you will have two wires coming off of your PA. One being a negative. Other one being a positive. Alright, so let's just connect the lines there so you guys know what's negative, what's positive. Alright, now for your switch, you're going to have a positive. You're going to have a negative. And you're going to have a ground. Okay. So, this is where you guys do not want to get mixed up at. So you guys are going to want to make sure that when you're running your wires that you're tracing them back, making sure that you're hooked up to the right uh, wire or the right connection. So what I mean by connection is that your switch has three prongs. Some of them have two, majority of them have three. Don't worry about this ground. We can go ahead and cancel that ground, okay? You don't need that ground. The ground is only for your light to illuminate. If you guys are worried about that, fine. Uh, connect your ground to a good ground source on the chassis of the car and then you will have your light source working okay uh, mine I don't have that anyway so what you want to do you're gonna want to run your positive to your positive and you're going to run your negative which I kind of mixed myself up there so let me see if I can do that a little bit better. So you're gonna wanna run your positive. I'm just gonna run it around here so you guys don't get mixed up with it. Then you're gonna wanna run your negative to your negative. Okay, now on your switch, they may have a letter on each prong that says P for positive, N for negative, and G for ground, or they might not. You're going to want to read your instructions to see exactly what prong is what. Now, you can cross this polarity. That's where the static will come in for the speakers. You do not want to cross the polarity. And what I mean by that is you don't want your positive prong going to your negative on your intercom or vice versa. You don't want your negative on your intercom going to your positive on your uh, switch. Now, this switch is designed for each prong to do a certain thing so you can't just hook it up on either prong and keep trying and figuring you know that it's going to work what you're going to want to do is make sure that what you're hooking it up on the switch is either the positive or the negative 
You don't need that. Sometimes folks will hook it up to the ground and then it doesn't work at all. So with that being said, you want to find a color coded, which are two wires. You want to find two wires that either run to your door speakers or your rear deck speakers or whatever speaker source that you have. It could either be purple and purple with a black stripe. It could be red and red with a yellow stripe. Whatever you want to do, you're going to find those two wires. Hook it up to any one of them. Like I said, but they have to be a speaker source. So, let's say this is purple. Okay? This wire here is purple. This wire here is purple with black purple with the black stripe that is that one that would be your negative so you're going to want to run this and tap that into your negative before it reaches the switch or vice versa before the switch reaches your PA you're going to want to tap that wire into your negative you're going to want to tap that purple with black stripe or whatever the negative wire for your door speakers or your rear deck speakers you're going to want to tap that negative wire into the negative of the pa and the switch somewhere in the middle it, it can even be closer to the intercom it can be closer to the switch but you're going to want to tap it into that you don't want to run it directly to the switch or you don't want to run it i mean there's really no way you can run it directly to the pa anyway so anyway, you're going to want to take this purple that is your positive and you're going to want to run it to the positive. And like I said, where a lot of you guys are getting your static from, you, you guys may have this switch right here crossed. And anytime you cross that polarity, you will have static and you will have issues. Now just make sure that where uh, wherever you're running your wire you don't have any kind of slit so it's not getting pinched by a door and you don't have any of it um open or any of that sleeve on the wire open to the point that it's making contact with something because then you also have static there as well so do not cross polarity with your switch that's where you guys are having that common issue at do not cross polarity with your switch also I'm not running a amplifier with my setup. These speakers are rated, some rated at 100 watts, some Radio Shack uh, speakers are rated at like 50. Uh, you can probably get one for like 150. Now, depending on how far you go up with it, yes, you can run an amp on whatever you want to run an amp on. A uh, majority of the CD players come factory with about 25 watts. To about 50 to 75 watts so if your PA system is rated at 100 you can run a very small amp like a four channel amp you can run that to the PA and also you, you know your door speakers and things but I don't need one mine is loud enough so for you guys that ask am I running the amplifier to it no I'm not mine is where I want it to be and you know that's just all I can say about that. Maybe one of these days if I run a whole nother PA like on the rear or something, I may run a amplifier to both. But as far as it goes now, I'm not running a amplifier. Man, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I tried to do the best that I could with what I had. Like I said, uh, I didn't want to run you guys through with like a bunch of wires and then just try to trace it through and then, you know, be trying to explain it and show you guys at the same time. I believe that this right here was the best setup. So if you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment down below. Uh, this video was suggested. So if you guys got any other suggested topics that you guys want me to cover as far as Crown Victorias, cars in general, uh, anything else it don't even have to be about cars you guys give me topics and I'm rocking with y'all man as long as y'all rocking with me uh, yeah uh, I appreciate it man make sure y'all subscribe tap that bell notification for more smash that like button man so we can get these videos up and recommend it for everyone else to see so that we can gain a few more funds to be able to 
do extravagant things with vehicles and purchase more vehicles and tear them down and rebuild them up and things like that man yeah so anyway hopefully you guys having a great night man two time moto tv out and until next time peace